Laura Alexander is an artist. I make art because I love making it, and I'm an introvert, but I'm also an extrovert, so it gives me an excuse to be myself. <laughs> Laura Alexander is a paper artist, to be specific. My work is completely the opposite of my, of my personality. So, I mean, like, I am a messy person. I'm not, like, I'm kind of aggressive, with, even with my pieces when I hang them up, so. I'll usually start out by drawing it out. Sometimes I start cutting it before I draw it out because I get really impatient. Um, I, I'm so interested in the materials that the next time, like, I want the next piece to be more of an investigation of that material, so I, don't, like, I can see it in my head and I want to see it in real life. So I guess that's what pushes me. And the, I mean, and then I, the, it's also the meditative process of making the work that's so labor intensive. Um, like I kind of need that as a person because it's just like a quiet time where you can kind of just reflect. Anybody's life has stresses and, because I mean, the world's such a crazy place, especially now with technology and you know, all that. And I just come in here and I draw and I cut and, and it's like that stuff all fades away. What I try to do is just push paper beyond where you think it's going to be. Like, what the biggest success to me was when I was in Michigan, and people would be like, "That's paper, really?" You know, and they couldn't figure it out. Like from across the room, they thought it was plaster or paint, and then even when they were standing in front of it, I'd be like, "No, it's paper, really." You know, so that for me, that's successful. What Laura is talking about with her piece in Michigan is when she was an art prize in late 2011. Art Prize is a citywide international art competition held in Grand Rapids, Michigan. The twist is that the voting public decides the winners and top prize wins $250,000. A curator contacted Laura about her work and invited her to be in the show. It was just very insane because there was a, during that time 160,000 people came through the museum because it's like every artist's dream to have that many people look at your work but at the same time like I was standing there for 12 hours a day next to my piece talking to people so I was like physically and emotionally <laughs> just exhausted. <laughs> it was nutty. <laughs> what was nutty was what happened next. My mom called me and she's like you're in you're in and so I started, like just started crying and I think it's crying now, <laughs> but, um, and, uh, and then she's like, I think. <laughs> well, Laura did end up winning seventh place in the international art competition for her piece out of 1,500 artists. She's also had many articles written about her work recently and was voted best artist by Columbus Underground in 2012. But these accolades don't seem to phase her much. It was a little bit of a difficult thing getting back in the studio because it's like, what do you do after that? <laughs> I think in order to get to the next step, you have to kind of push yourself over that boundary. And then if it doesn't work, you stand up and you brush yourself off and you go back in the, and you do it, you know, you try something else. I had a, a teacher in high school that always said, you're only as good as your next piece. And so I'm always like trying to, you know, be better. Who knows what wonders Laura Alexander will come up with in her future work. So be on the lookout. This is Ashley Brooke, reporting for Art Scene.